What's good, y'all? It's your girl, Tessa Simone, and I'm cut. And if you can tell by the title of this video, I am finna be doing, I feel like I just got really bright all of a sudden. But if you can't tell by this video, I'm finna be doing a Barbie ponytail. Now, I already did this for my birthday photo shoot, but I forgot to record it for y'all. So I'm finna do it again. Let me show y'all how to do it. Because it's really, really simple. And it's the same like process, whether you got fake locks or real locks. So let's just get into the video. Oh. Now, a mistake, well, not a mistake, but something that I did last time that I kind of wish I would have took my time on more is that I didn't do a big ponytail. I mean, a high enough ponytail. I feel like my ponytail was kind of too low. Like, for real. So, I'm going to try to hope that this one can be better. You're going to need a ponytail hard that's kind of big because little one's going to pop. So the swoop bang wasn't working, so we're just gonna go with the two little things to on the sides like that. Um, we already got our ponytail, everything. So keep ready, this was about to be some ponytail. But I always remember to hold your ponytail up so you can catch like little stuff like that. Cause it's kind of hard to see everything when the ponytail down. So, yeah, that looks, yeah, that's good. So now that we got our ponytail where we want it to be, Ouch. Um, you're gonna take two random locks, preferably two that are like side by side, and also preferably one from the back. So we're just gonna go with these two and just wrap it around the base. Now, if you want to. You could wrap two around the base, like at first, and then you could take another two from the bag and wrap on top of those two. And it just like give your ponytail some height. Okay, y'all. Yeah. So now we back, we back to regular schedule program. Um, so we got our ponytail, we wrapped the thing around twice just to give it some um, value. Especially like how you and we're gonna get to doing the ponytail part. Um, so you can, I usually put this like to the side for right now because we're not worried about it right now. So I usually do like that. But um, basically what you do is you take two that are close together, you twist them. And try not to twist too loose, cause if you twist too loose, they kind of unravel when you can see it, and you don't want that. So, yeah. But anyways, you just twist like that, and you don't have to twist all the way down because you just want to twist the way you want the ponytail to stop. So this time, I want the ponytail to stop like right here by my neck. So I'm gonna twist like twice more to my arm. I was gonna say twice more time. Girl. Bad grandma. You're gonna take you some regular black rubber bands like this. Um. Yep. So, 
Got my twist. You gone. Follow it up wherever you want it to stop. Like I said, I kind of want to stop right there. So I'm folding it up. And I kind of want to stop above my shoulder. I'm just trying to make sure that it's going to be like right how I want it to be. But yeah, fold it like that. And then you rubber band the bottom. And y'all, this is so easy for the people who got the fake locks because, you know, real ones ain't going to be um, unraveling so easy because they not as soft. They more sturdy. These are so lightweight, you know. But yeah. And then you're going to take your two pieces and you're just going to wrap upwards. Now, the thing about it is that you always want to go in the direction that you twist in. Because if you wrap your hair in the opposite direction, it's gonna make the twist unravel. So, yeah. Always wanna just wrap in the same direction you twist it. Um, if it's like this, where you got a piece that's shorter, you know, just, you'll kinda, I'm trying to figure out how to explain it, but you know you got to the long piece. You'll just make sure you wrap in a long piece over that short piece. Especially the ending of it. Like, it wasn't at the end yet, but I just wrapped it around. And that's going to be the end. You want to make sure you just wrap on top of that piece. And then now you got to worry about is wrapping the long piece now. And once you get it to where you want it, which is right here, you just take your rubber band. You're gonna straight across the top of it to secure. And then you got your little twist and hold my heavy feet. So then that's gonna be how our ponytail is. Now, what I will say, it is so much harder to make sure all of the pieces are the same length when you're doing it on yourself. So it might be, some might be a little longer, especially the ones in the back, because those are the ones that's gonna be kind of wonky, but it's okay, because it's still a little good. Like, it just won't look as, what's the word? Precise, maybe. But yeah, you're just gonna do this all over your head. Alright, y'all, so we probably, I don't even know if I can say this is halfway. We're going to say a third of the way through. Um, this what it's looking like. It's so cute, though. So, I'm going to just keep going, y'all. My neck hurts. That's one thing about this hair, y'all. Your neck gets hurting after a while, but you just got to push through. So. Yeah, I'm going to come back to y'all when I get closer to being done. Okay, y'all, so this is what it's looking like. This side look better. It's always like that, though. It's always one side that looks better. I'm trying to pull on these a little bit because they kind of like. Like, if y'all can see, you see what I'm saying? Like, some of these could have come down a little bit more. I don't know. They're pretty equal, though, I think. <laughs> but, yeah, I told y'all, bro, it's something about every time I do my hair myself, like, it's just never as even as it would have been if I would have let somebody else do it. But it's just because I can't see all around my head. Anyways. This is the last one, and this one got three. So I just want to show y'all how I'm gonna do it. Basically, we're gonna do a three-strand twist, and you basically just ro rotate the one on the outside to the... That's our three-strand one. Um, to measure it, I just bring it to the back. You can always rotate the top to make it nice and loose at the top. But anyways, um, I always bring it to the back and try to measure it from the side. And I think that's good enough. Now we 
we're gonna see. You know, we're gonna secure it with a uh, really, really like this. We got these that's going in the front. For these, this, this is real easy because it's just one, so you could just hold the end. You could put it wherever you want it to stop. I kind of want mine to be like right here, chin length, just about the length of the ponytail. And you just wrap while you hold the end. And once you got your wrap going, you kind of let go of the end and hold the rest of the end. Okay, y'all, and we finished. Yeah, this side looks way better. But anyways, y'all, I hope that was a simple, like, well-explained video. Um, I'm a, I'm up here at the end of the video, y'all. Let me do my dog on edges. Hold on. All right, y'all. So, anyways, back to the regular schedule program. Um, edges is done. It's the ponytail. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Be sure to pop that like button, tap that bell, comment, subscribe, share. Follow me on all social media links down below, y'all. If y'all need any more videos from me, please let me know in the comments, like any suggestions. I am taking notes right now. Um, y'all think this turned out cute? So, yeah, we'll see y'all in the next one. Well, before that, I wanted to show y'all, like, if you, even if you do it like this, like you can always do a side bang just by flipping that one to the side. And then you just bobby pin these two together and then boom. Start bang. But anyways, I'ma see y'all later.